Patricia LaMarche. The proposed LNG terminals in Washington County have been a source of controversy, both within the Native American communities as well as the larger community in Washington County. And the trade-offs are fairly obvious, economic development versus environmental concerns. These LNG terminals have been rejected up and down the East Coast, including in Cumberland County here in Maine. Uh, in balancing economic vitality with pollution and uh, environmental and other concerns, do you, do you support or reject the construction of these terminals? And why? Could you detail where you stand on the LNG terminals? I'm against uh, LNG terminals in Maine. Uh, and my primary reason is I challenge the whole premise that it's economic recovery. Um, first of all, Passamaquoddy Bay is beautiful and has a, a pristine value that the, um, the recent uh, uh, Grow Smart folks said that that was our brand, our beauty. The state of Maine was something people come to Maine to find and that we needed to make sure it was here when they got here. But the other thing is that the Union of Concerned Scientists have said that if we're lucky, we have 60 years of, of natural gas left. That's not a solution. That's a short-term band-aid that will make some people very wealthy, obscure Maine's coastline, damage our environment, and with little or no return and no guarantee on how long the return will last. There are so many other projects that we could pursue. We could pursue wind, we could pursue tidal, we could pursue solar, we could pursue conservation, which is our, our biggest need in the state. So I don't see it as a solution at all, and I don't support it in any One way. One of the first bills that I will send to the legislature as governor will be uh, legislation that will change the law, that will assure that all of the surrounding communities um, for where a proposed LNG plant will be will have a vote in whether or not it will be cited there. One of the shortcomings of, this, of the current law is that only the community has the vote in it. I believe that we are lacking the information that we need. I'm, uh, we haven't seen um, uh, an independent study that shows us that LNG will provide a tangible net positive economic impact. We have for years been struggling with the balance between environmental protection and business interest. And I think we're desperately in need of a, of a, a reasonable compromise. And I, I cite other projects in the state uh, as examples of that currently. Um, I'm a supporter of the LNG terminal as long as the community is involved is supportive of it. Uh, it should never be a mandate for the state. to the development of the LNG terminal. What I propose is bringing in legalized gambling like Las Vegas and the areas like the LA area and the Biddeford area. Look what it has done up in, at the racetrack in Bangor. You hear these ads where millions of dollars is being pumped into our economy and into the tax base. I think clean gambling, we are in the gambling business right now. We buy a lottery ticket anywhere. You can bet on the racetracks, you can go to the bingo halls. But it's bringing in clean this isn't energy. in my energy plan, and the only way I'd support it if local communities brought it forward. The Federal Energy Regulatory Commission has preempted the state's authority, but I've assured people that we're going to hold whatever rigorous reviews to make sure they're transparent reviews, make sure that the information is given to our citizens, and they get to answer every and any question that they ask about this uh, facility. Uh, as you know, I've been pushing renewable energy. We've been pushing wind. We build up our renewable portfolio in the Public Utilities Commission. We want to see more tidal. We want to see more solar, more renewable energy, because I believe energy security, energy independence, Thank and you. economic development are tied in this, not only the state, but in our country.